All right, so in this video, I wanna show you guys a couple tips and tricks on how to make your melodies come to life. So right off the bat, a general rule of thumb that I use for myself is imagine your melodies being played on an instrument. And this could be any instrument. This could be guitar, piano, or if you don't play an instrument, just singing or humming or whistling the melody will do just fine. So you gotta analyze the way that you sing or play that melody. And I'm gonna give you a couple tips on how to translate that into Ableton and how to recreate that natural and organic sound that we're going for. All right, so I'm gonna be using a melody for one of my songs called Leave Me as an example, and it sounds like this. All right, so now I'm gonna recreate this melody in Ableton and step by step, we're gonna try and make this melody come to life. So this is what that melody would sound like if I would just program it in MIDI and I just used Serum for this instance. So this is what that would sound like. So the first thing you can mess around with is ghost notes and pitch bends and pitch slides. So if you listen carefully to how I play it on my guitar, you will hear that I play these little notes right in front of every other note. And it sounds like this. And that's a lot more interesting than just this. So that's one thing you can do. You can also do pitch bends like this. So if you look at the MIDI in Ableton, you can see that I use these really short notes right in front of the note that I wanna to get to. And you can literally just draw those in and those are the ghost notes. And then you can also do um, pitch bends or pitch slides. And the way you can do this is just go to the automation here, um, make sure you're on MIDI control and then choose pitch bend. And I'm doing these bends like this and it will sound like this. So that helps a little bit. You have to make sure that your minimum maximum value for the pitch bend, for example, in Serum are set to whatever value you want it to be. Usually it's plus two and minus two, um, but you can of course play around with that. All right, so the next thing you can do to make things more interesting is use vibrato or tremolo. And you have to go back to the instrument version and look at where you would naturally want to place those vibratos. So usually that would be on the longer nose. So if you listen back to the guitar version, that's where you would place a vibrato. So it's usually on the longer notes or just portions of that longer note. So when we try to recreate this in Ableton, you could probably do it inside of your soft synth, for example, Serum, but I often find that that sounds very computery, so I like to use this plugin called mVibrato. It's a free plugin by Melda Plugins, and the reason that I like this plugin so much is because you can control the depth of your vibrato, you can control the rate, I will usually put the depth at around four to 6% and the rate at six to nine K Hertz. Um, but the cool thing about this plugin is that you can use the tremolo too. So I like to invert the phase of the tremolo too. For some reason that sounds more organic to me. And then there's this smoothness feature as well. And this is what really makes things more natural. I don't know exactly what it does, but for some reason it just sounds more natural and more smooth when you use it. So. What I would do is I automate the on off feature on this plugin. And as you can see, I just put it at certain times of a certain note. So these are the longer notes and I would just put it at a certain time of that note. And with the vibrato and everything on that plugin, it sounds like this. All right, so the last thing that you can play around with is the length of the notes. So I remember when I started out, I found that a lot of my melodies were legato. So the end of the note would be the beginning of the next note. Um, but when you play melodies on an instrument or you sing them, you will find that oftentimes that's not true. So when I play this melody on guitar, you will hear that not everything's legato. That's all legato, but then there's a little stop to when the next note begins. So 
So when we go into Ableton and we look at the MIDI for a melody, you can see that a little bit goes a long way. So as I said before, these little stops in before the next phrase of the melody um, really makes it sound more natural and organic. And you can even play around with the length of your ghost notes and just a tiny offset in the length of these notes is enough to make it feel more organic. All right, so now let's go back to our original melody and hear the difference between before and after. So that's our original melody and this is with all the adjustments. So that sounds a lot more organic and natural to me. All right, so one last bonus tip. If you really wanna take things to the next level, you can try and bounce your melody out to audio and resample it or repitch it. So this is our original melody. But if we try to just pitch it down, for example, just a couple semitones, doesn't really matter. It will have these weird artifacts because of the pitching and the resampling. And for some reason, it will smoothen out the, the little details and the perfection of the computer. So this will really help make things sound more natural and organic. You will lose a little bit of quality, but at the end of the day, it will sound more like a recording of something organic and it will sound less like a MIDI instrument. All right, so that was it for this video. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to drop a comment with suggestions for future videos and make sure to like and subscribe so I know that people are actually watching this and I will see you guys soon. Peace.